Hi guys, welcome to Keeping It Simple Crafts. Today we are going to be making a candy cane wreath and we're going to be using ribbon to make it. So you will need one candy cane wreath form and this one came from Dollar Tree. And you are going to need three different colors of ribbon. And this is the 2.5 inch width ribbon with wire. You're going to need some pipe cleaners cut in thirds. You will need a couple zip ties, and you're going to need your scissors for this candy cane wreath. You're going to want to stack your ribbons one on top of the other and pinch them tightly together. And you're going to take your zip tie and you're going to attach your ribbons to the second and third wire of the candy cane wreath frame. So just zip tie them to your wreath. You could use a pipe cleaner if you wanted to. And then just trim off the extra part of the pipe cleaner. And then you're going to want to take and tuck in the ribbon to the back. And then later on you can take a pipe cleaner if you want to so that the end doesn't flip back down on you. But I did that at the very end. So you're going to take your ribbon and you're going to make a loop and about a five inch loop is what mine measured and I cut my pipe cleaners in thirds so you're going to make a loop and you're going to take your pipe cleaner and wrap your pipe cleaner around the second and third wire of your wreath form and then go to the back and give it a few twists and push your loop forward. Same process make sure that you keep your ribbon straight so I have a striped ribbon, then a solid ribbon, then a striped ribbon. So make sure that you try to keep your ribbons straight and keep the patterns in the same order each time. So make your loop, and mine's about five and a half, anywhere from five to six inches is what my loop's measured, and just take your pipe cleaner and attach it to the second and third wire, then go to the back and give it a few twists. Now you're going to want to push your loops forward so that you get your wreath nice and full and fluffy. So just take your time and make sure you're not getting your ribbons twisted up. The ribbon I am using here came from Sam's Club and right now they have their Christmas ribbon in and it's around six dollars and something a roll and it has 50 yards on it and it does have wire. So same steps all the way around the candy cane wreath form. Just make a loop, attach it to the wreath form with a pipe cleaner, push it forward. Just continue the process and each little section you can get five or six of your loops. Now you could probably squeeze in more if you wanted to, but I got to talking to my kids and most of the time I was getting five or six. Now I did some of the time get seven because I would get to talking with them and I would just keep making my loops. But if you want it fluffy, you need to make sure you're getting at least five loops per section on your candy cane wreath form. This is really simple to make. It does take a lot of a little bit of time, not a lot of time. I had it made in less than 30 minutes. And like I said, I just visited with my kids while I was making it. But you want to try to make the loops about the same size each time. That way, you know, when you fluff it out and spread it out, it looks good. So just take your time and try to get your loops the same size and make sure you get at least five loops per section. Now this is the fun part. You're going to take and separate your ribbon. So you can do like red on the left, black and white in the center, striped on the right, or you can mix it up however you want. So just pull one loop this way, the other that way, leave one in the center. You can make a pattern, you can do it random, however you want. I just kind of mixed it up. I didn't really just go exactly the same each time, but I tried to make sure I wasn't doing like all black and white striped down the center. So like I said, this is how you're going to really see how pretty your candy cane wreath looks. So just take your time and make sure you're fluffing and separating each one of your loops. When I finished the last loop, I cut the ribbon off and I took a pipe cleaner and I just made sure that I secured the end of the ribbon to the wreath form so that it wouldn't flip down and show. 
So that's a thought. Just use another pipe cleaner or zip tie to make sure each end will not come back down. And let's see. Okay, I know I'm going to be asked this, how many yards or feet of ribbon I used. I do not have an exact answer, but just you can kind of do the math, count the number of sections, and figure five loops times roughly five inches. So that's that's the best advice I can give you to get a good estimate because everybody's going to be a little bit different. Depends on the size loops you make. You know, it just kind of depends on how fluffy that type situation. So I can't give you an exact number. So I'm sorry about that. But I will in the description box below. I will write down a materials list for you. To hang your candy cane wreath, you're going to want to either add a string or a piece of wire or a, a zip tie to the top. So I chose to use a zip tie to hang my candy cane wreath on my door. And y'all know I love making bows and I just love a bow on a wreath. So I had to tie a pretty red bow for my candy cane. So I just went back and forth, back and forth, trying to make the loops the same size on each side. Just kept it pinched tightly in my left hand. And then I did the ends, the tails, um, chevron them. So just try to make your loops the same size and make sure when you tie a bow, ribbon with wire makes the prettiest bows. So that's just a thought because it holds its shape. And you'll want to take a piece of floral stem wire, wrap around the center of your bow, and then you'll use the wires to thread through the wreath form and go to the back and give it a few twists and either cut off or fold down your wires. And so now your candy cane wreath is complete. Just make sure you fluff the loops on your bow and make sure you have fluffed all the loops on your candy cane. And then you could add some embellishments if you wanted to, like the uh, vase filler from Dollar Tree. Those little glitter balls would be pretty to hot glue a few on. So thank you for watching, guys.